Michael, you have a fascinating story uh, about the kind of stress that people are under who get laid off and the, the long-term effects on their health. Uh, give us a sense of how much of a trauma is it for someone who's laid off? Right. I mean, when you think about job loss, when you talk to people about it, they, they compare it to other uh, psychological trauma, like losing a, a family member. And, and so it is a major stressor. And there are studies, a growing body of research that connects it to uh, serious health problems, heart attacks, strokes, um, you know, uh, diabetes, psychological problems, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, stress-related issues. Uh, on the one hand, it does seem intuitive that being laid off would be a stressful thing. On the other hand, what is it about being laid off exactly that affects people's health? Right, so this is one of the really interesting areas of study that they really require more research on. They're focusing, though, on sort of the direct and indirect um, fallout from stress. So direct uh, result could be, you know, there are certain biochemical things that happen inside your body when you go through a stressful event that could trigger like a heart attack. Um, but then there's also sort of these indirect things, like stress causes people to change their habits. So people could smoke more, people could drink more, people, uh, and there are studies that tie for example, smoking to job loss and, and other uh, physical habits mm. that could affect your health. And so they're looking at those areas. And there's also obviously the effect of loss of income. And what does that do to, for example, your access to health insurance and good health care and all these other things that uh, you need to maintain your health? Um, is there is there any, th any advice for people who are laid off uh, in a ways that they might try to offset some of these uh, these effects and try to keep their health maintained at some even level? I mean, is there some tricks that people can learn? Well, I mean, I don't get into that necess necessarily in the story. I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious that uh, you need to pay attention to this. I mean, the heart of the story is about um, these steel workers who lost their jobs uh, up in Buffalo, and several of them had heart attacks, and two of them were fatal. And it, the thought really didn't cross their minds. Uh, I mean, I talked to one guy who who survived, and, and, and when he was having the heart attack, he thought he had pulled a muscle in his chest, mm. and, 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 and he was 42 years old, and he didn't think that this could be happening. Fortunately, I mean, they caught in it, and, and he survived, um, um, but you just have to watch these things, and, and um, you know. Pay attention to what you're feeling. What pay, you're, exactly, yeah. and, I mean, and also probably you, you, you should watch out for certain habits, like, you know, um, you know, the, in two of the cases, they, the, their surviving relatives told me that they had uh, been drinking more and smoking mm -hmm. more, and those are things that you need to watch uh, uh, after, as you're going through the trauma of uh, unemployment.